don't even know how to start this. I, my name's Dot. <laughs> um, so, hi, um, I decided to start vlogging. I don't know if this is actually going to be a thing. I don't know if I'm actually going to post this anywhere, but might as well try something new. Um, so I recorded a podcast episode this morning with, um, because I host a podcast called Meet the Translator and I recorded an episode this morning with Kelsey Frick and Adrian Probst and it was about um, being a content creator in the translation industry and it was really interesting and I just, <laughs> just felt really inspired um, and I've, obviously Adrian's got a YouTube channel and I... I found it really interesting and it's something that I've thought of doing for a long time like I have I don't know I've always really enjoyed watching vlogs and I especially love vlogmas um and it's just like a cozy <laughs> I don't know I just when I'm eating my lunch like when I'm having my breakfast usually whenever I'm eating something I'm like watching someone's vlogs um and I've watched YouTube vlogs since I was like I don't know, 16, 17? I don't even know. Um, so it's been a long time and I even, when I was probably like 19 or 20, I even started making my own videos and I like even like I fully made them, I edited them and then I didn't share them anywhere because I was so scared. And you know what? I feel like what is there to be scared of? Like, okay, this is probably not going to be the best video that I ever make because it's the first one. Um, but I'm just I'm just gonna do it and I was so worried I was like well what am I even gonna share like I'm a freelance translator like I I love my job and I do so many cool fun things but I also most of the time I'm sat at home on my laptop and I can't actually show anything that I'm working on I'm a subtitler so like I can't show any of the content I can't really show anything um but I was like do you know what I want to just vlog and um show you my life and maybe I will do I don't know how <laughs> regular this is gonna be this is just gonna be a trial and error to start with at least and we'll just see when I vlog if I vlog if this even goes anywhere and if I enjoy it and if I've got the time for it and yeah I don't know what's gonna happen um but here we are Hello. So anyway, I, here I am, um, recording this video. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and if this does go anywhere and I do end up sharing it and I do become a vlogger, like what? <laughs> if that even happens, then thank you to Kelsey and Adrian for inspiring me this morning on our podcast recording. Um, and... Yeah, we'll see. I haven't even done, <laughs> I haven't even told my husband and he's like sat upstairs and I'm like, please don't come downstairs because that would be really embarrassing. <sighs> anyway, thanks. Oh, thank you for watching if you are watching this. Um, sorry, that is my leg. Um, <laughs> I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Uh, um, love you, bye. <laughs> Hello again clip number two of um my vlog I guess um and I've learned that I need to look at the <laughs> here this is where you are um I've just finished well I haven't well I don't know I was gonna say I finished my work for the day um but I well I've got more work I might do later um because the deadlines end the day Monday and it's currently Friday at four o'clock. <laughs> um, but I am hungry, so I'm gonna make my dinner. And I thought I can't even hold you with that hand because oh, this is okay, right? Right, for dinner, I'm gonna make uh, tofu scramble. So I need one red pepper. Oh, let's get the chopping board out. I feel like, do you know what, I feel like I'm just sending a voice note, but it's a video, that's how it feels because I'm so used to doing things while voice noting. We've got a courgette and an onion, um, and what else is in the cupboard, the cupboard, the fridge, 
some garlic. Um, what else are you? Tofu. Obviously, tofu is the key ingredient. Olive oil. Um, this is apparently a cooking book. So anyway, I thought I would start off with talking to you a bit about what I actually do and who I actually am. Um, while while I chop my veg because. I feel like that with that is a good start. Oh, I might just get some spinach out of the freezer. One second. Right. Oh, that's the spinach. Oh, I'm getting into snow. I, my name is Dom. As I mentioned in the first clip, um, I am a freelance uh, translator, mainly a subtitler, but also recently a copywriter. Um, I um, have been. <laughs> running Dot Roberts Translation since January 2019 so it has been just over five years now. Um, I translate German and Dutch into English and I have mostly been doing um, subtitling like movies and TV shows and I also create um, subtitles for deaf and hard of hearing people um, and that's sort of most of what I was doing kind of last year and the year before that um, however I oh and I also like subtitle um, randomly a lot of football related content um, and also just like marketing entertainment entertainment mostly um, but yeah, last year I started working with a new client and they've just had lots of work for me and that's actually been quite nice. Wait, my, bunny, my bunnies are making weird noises. I think they can hear me chopping. Um, sorry, sometimes when they hear me chopping they get excited because they think this is for them. Yeah, I've had a quite a nice, like, more regular client um, recently and they needed a German to English subtitler but they were also like, we also need an English content creator not content creator, what am I saying? Copyright. <laughs> um, sorry, I've had content creator on the mind, on, on my mind. Um, and they, yeah, they were like, can you do copywriting? And I was like, well, not really done it a lot. Um, I've done it for, I've done it for like one client before in the past, but not very much of it. So I wasn't really very confident with it. And it's not really like, I wasn't really offering it as a service. Um, but they were like, I really want someone like can you just give it a go so I was like do you know what I'll oh, my nose here. um I have rabbits I didn't say I've got rabbits um and Cleo's just come in because she can probably tell that I'm cutting a pepper and she wants some I'll give her some in a minute um anyway yeah they were like can you do it and I was like I'll give it a go and you can tell me if it's any good basically and so I did both writing for them and they were like we love it you're great basically so i have been doing that for them since then and actually that is most of what i do at the minute so that has been interesting because i never really planned for that but i have been really enjoying it um <coughs> right let me give where's she gone Claire? what are you doing come on here i'll give you some pepper let me just chop you a piece. Do you want to meet her? I don't know how to turn this around, but here she is. Cleo, come here. What's this? What's this? Come here. Come here. What's this? Yeah, yeah. Come here. Oh, okay, that was Lloyd. I need to. <laughs> let me just get another piece for Cleo because Lloyd appeared. Um, oh, my hand is in the way. Right, Cleo. Here you go. Here are the bunnies. <laughs> are you slipping on the floor? It's a bit slippery in here, isn't it? Mm. Yummy, yummy. Are you in 
introducing yourself to my vlog. Oh, my hair. <laughs> Helio. Yeah, so this is Cleo. Cleo. And this is Lloyd. And these are my two gorgeous bunnies. Um, I adopted them nearly three years ago. And they are... <laughs> are you so cute? Are you so cute? I adopted them only three years ago, um, and they are my little house bunnies. They are nearly eight years old. Is that right? Or have I had them for two years? How old are you? I think they are. They're either seven or eight. Um, I lose track. Um, and. So yeah, that's what I do. Translator, subtitler, podcaster. Also, I um, host a podcast called Meet the Translator, which I think I mentioned in the previous clip. So you may already know that. Um, and I really enjoy that. She's just sat there. <laughs> Staring at me. Look at her. Um, it's because I'm still chatting veg and she wants them. Oh, I also, since last, so last September, me, Chloe, Stout and Maya, uh, aka Maya Lane Thicket, um, just in case you know these people on LinkedIn, um, or elsewhere, uh, the three of us, um, they're both translators as well, the three of us started a business retreat for translators, um, and we hosted our first event, um, yeah, in September last year, uh, yeah, up in the Lake District, and we had, I think like 20, no, 15, I think there were 15-ish people at the first one, and it was like a day where we did like, half the day was like business, and then half the day was like retreat, so um, we then like went out, uh, went swimming in the lake, and then went out for a meal, and yeah, it was really nice. And then we had our second edition of the business retreat in February this year, um, which was also lovely, except we did a two day event this time. And um, we had one day of business, and then one day of activities, and we did like, uh, canoeing, high ropes, although it was more like basically climbing up a tree and jumping off it, <laughs> obviously with like harnesses and stuff, um, but honestly I had so much fun. So yeah, we are in the process of planning another one, um, don't have any dates or information to give you just yet, but we are hoping to do another one, it's not the end. Um, so yeah, we'll see when that happens. Hello, Lloyd. Right, I'm going to stop recording because this is really long. But before I stop recording, I will let Lloyd say goodbye. Lloyd, here you go. There you go. He's confused. <laughs> Look at him. Bye. Bye. Love you. I'll just quickly show you my dinner since I was making it when I last spoke to you. Here it is. I have made tofu scramble on toast and I am going to sit the TV on now and watch some traces, I think. There are the bunnies. I'm just chilling. Hello, I'm about to go off to the gym and that is why I've changed outfit. Um, <laughs> I've been thinking about this, I'm not really sure like how much of this, like I'm not really sure where I want to go with this vlogging and like whether I want to do, whether I want YouTube just to be like a business related thing and be like, oh, like obviously it's going to be live stuff because it's vlogging, but like, you know, more like my work day or whether 
and like the kind of stuff that I'd share on like LinkedIn or Instagram or whether I want it to just be like my life in general and that like obviously my job is part of it I don't really know I'm going to go to the gym hello I'm just on the way to um, the football um, me and my husband are going to watch um, the women's Man City versus Man United sorry it's really funny it's like I can't even see um, and yeah it's at the Etihad Stadium so that should be fun um, we don't usually go and watch a lot of football but I think I'm going to class it as CPD because I do um, translate and sorry I don't know what this is I do translate and subtitle a lot of football related content so it's kind of relevant and yeah I just thought I would bring you along I've also gone for blue blue on blue on blue so ready ready to support Man City even though I mean I I'm not a Man United fan particularly but my husband is so um he's not wearing blue <laughs> but he's not wearing red because we're sat in the Man City stands Does love a cuddle, don't you? He is the cuddliest, the cuddliest little bunny. Oh, aren't you? You're so fluffy. So fluffy. Look how fluffy. Hmm? Look at his little hand. That's a fluffy boy. Happy Sunday. Um. I, I guess I'm just vlogging again. Um, wasn't planning to vlog the whole weekend, but 
we'll see i'm gonna just record video clips when i think of it i think so i'm gonna mow the lawn and i thought i'd do a little time lapse because i've not tried a time lapse yet and i don't know i think it'd be quite nice to like break the video up a little bit bunnies would you like a dandelion yeah here you go is that yummy Lloyd <laughs> is that yummy chopping veg <laughs> and it seems to be the, the perfect time to have a little chat it's such a nice day today like it's it's not warm it's like i think it's something like eight degrees um also i'm really sorry about that noise that is the washing machine um i hope that's not too annoying um yeah it's such a nice sunny day today so i've gone out and mowed the lawn which is the first time i've done that so far this year um but yeah, so I'm just cooking, um, just about to start cooking a vegan chili con carne, which is exciting. It's one of my favourite things to cook at the minute, um, other than jacket potatoes. Although jacket potatoes is not really cooking, is it? It's just, I mean, kind of cooking, not really cooking. I do, I just, I'm just really obsessed with jacket potatoes at the minute. I've been craving a crookie? I don't know if it's called a crookie or if I just made that up. It has a name. Um, basically a croissant. Croissant. Um, <laughs> with basically a croissant with um, a cookie inside. But like, you like put the cookie dough in and then you bake it and you put some cookie dough on top as well I think. And so I'm going to give that a go later. I've bought some croissant because um sorry if you're not on tiktok you're probably gonna be like why is she saying that so good um soz. i don't know why is it in welsh we're in, um, where are we? I don't know where we are. We're not in Wales, though. So. Oh, my head is in it. I don't really want my head in. <laughs> We're on a little walk in the forest. I thought that there was going to be like a lake here, but there does not seem to be a lake. Wait, let me show you. It's like it's a bit swampy, but that is about it. But there's some lovely trees. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> trees but look there's even like Christmas trees 
How cute. Maybe that is a lake. Could that be a lake? We'll find out. I think it is a lake. It's like, is it a lake? Is this a lake? What is, it's like a big puddle. Well, it's pretty. Whatever this is. There's lots of birds. Can you hear the birds? Can you see the bird? Wait, there's like a tree in the way. I want to show you the birds. <laughs> They're like, there they are. Uh, we just finished our walk. It was good. It was, I think we, I just looked at my health map and it says 5.7 kilometers. So that's a decent size walk. Um, and it was muddy. And this little dog jumped up at me. So I have little mud paw prints on my dungarees, which is kind of cute, but also now we're going to have to go and wash. <laughs> we are home. I'm just chilling. Um, and just been thinking about what I've got going on this week work wise what I'm doing tomorrow I think so tomorrow tomorrow is Monday and I've got a new podcast episode out um which should be good it's um it's my first ever sponsored podcast episode and it's um with a guy called Roberto van Eiken and he translated his own grandfather's literature so should be well it was I mean I obviously I've already recorded it and it was I found it really really interesting so I'm really excited to share that tomorrow morning um so I think my first thing I'll be doing tomorrow is posting on LinkedIn posting on Instagram what is this <laughs> um <clears throat> and sharing about that um I've got it set already everything's like ready to go and it will automatically go live at 8am so I just need to post about it to let everyone know um I haven't written my post yet so I'll do that in the morning and then I've got um two different client projects to do one is proofreading it's a football related video i think it's like 22 minutes ish um subtitle proofreading so that should be all right it shouldn't take me too long because um the quality of the subtitle as work is really good because i've already been this is like the fourth or fifth video in this series um and I've already been proofreading his work and it's really good. So it should be quite easy. And then um, the other one is a bit of content writing. Um, and both of those are the deadlines are tomorrow. So that's my plan for the day. And then I think I've got, um, I'll be going to the gym in the evening with my gym buddy. Um, so it should be a good day as long as I can be productive and get all the things done. But yeah. So it's about half past five, I think, um, on Sunday at the minute. And um, yeah, I'm going to have dinner in a bit and then make those crookies. Are they even good crookies? Did I just make that up? I don't really know. The croissant, 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 cookie, 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 croissant. Sorry. Um, so the croissant, croissant, the croissant. Uh, you're probably gonna think, be like, what the heck is she on? Like, what is she on about? Like, why is she saying it like that? Don't even, just, I don't, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> bunnies, what's this? What's this? Look at that. Hi, I am gonna make some cr crookies. Are they good crookies? I'm gonna make the cro cro croissant um, cookies. I thought I would show you. So I've got my croissants in here. And I've got some cookie dough. And that is all I need. So I need, what I do need to take. Uh, no, maybe I need a chopping board. Chopping board. And a knife. Right, so I'm gonna literally slice into them. I'm just making this up, by the way. But I feel like it can't be that hard, right? 
like this is how I think that they did it on TikTok. So this is what I'm gonna try. Um, right, I'm just gonna slice them both. I'm doing two, one for me and one for my husband. Um, oh, okay. Right, and then I think I need, should I just get a baking tray? I think I'm actually gonna make them in this because this is a pyrex dish so that can go in the oven right so we've got one okay wait i'll do one at a time <laughs> wait actually we don't need that chopping board so what i'm gonna do is oh gosh this is gonna be messy i'm just gonna stuff the croissant with cookie dough I don't really know how much, I'm just guessing, complete, this is a complete guess, let's do like three bits of cookie dough inside the croissant and I'm going to squash it on top and I think I have to like press some on top of it as well so I'm going to try that and that's just like, <laughs> press that onto the top. Okay, that is, I don't, really don't know what I'm supposed to be calling this, but that is the first one done. Hopefully, it will be a nice, delicious evening snack. Right, that's what that is currently looking like. There we go. And they're done. This is how they've turned out. I actually, I'm so excited to try this. Look at this mug, look how cute. I found it in, um, I <laughs> found it in a charity shop, but it looks like a kid's drawing it or something, and I just thought it was so cute. Just look at that. Look, look, look at that. Doesn't that just look so good? Oh my gosh. This actually looks incredible. I've been craving this for so long. Like, look, look at that. Mm. I feel like if this was like drizzled with chocolate like melted chocolate on top of this would be perfect like it's nice but i feel like i feel like more chocolate definitely more chocolate hello good morning happy monday um i am up and ready for the day <laughs> Hello bunnies, I am, it's 10 past 8 in the morning, I have showered, had my breakfast and everything, and now I'm just gonna grab my laptop. The plan is, it's currently 11 minutes past 8, and the plan is I'm gonna post on LinkedIn, post on Instagram about my new podcast episode, which should be live already, <laughs> so that's exciting, so I need to post about it. And then I'm going to clean out the rabbit pen because that needs cleaning up. And then, yeah, I'll probably just be like on LinkedIn, on Instagram, replying to things, commenting on other people's things until about nine o'clock. And then I'm going to get started with the work that I have to do today um, <coughs> and hit all my deadlines. And that is the plan. And I'm actually feeling positive and good about it and yes i am wearing this jumper again for the third day in a row but you know what i i'm just at home all day <laughs> i'm not gonna see anyone apart from when i go to the gym but then i'm not gonna wear this because i'm gonna go wear gym clothes um and i'm just gonna keep wearing the thing that's already been worn until it actually gets dirty or smells and then i'll put it in the wash so i'll probably keep wearing this jumper i might wear it again tomorrow i might wear it the day after but I really love this jumper. So that is probably, you'll probably just see me in lots of these videos wearing the same outfit over and over again, but I promise you it is different days. 
Sorry, I always get such a buzz from sharing a new blog or something, or like sharing something new. Like, I. <sighs> oh, I just get such a buzz. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I, I get so excited about all of my podcast episodes, but I'm really excited about this one. Um, and it's just nice that it's like out in the world. Like, it's. It's like not so much work, but like it's quite a lot of work has gone into it, you know, like I was contacted by the publisher. There's a lot of like email communication going back and forth, like organizing the recording, doing the recording, sending it all off to my editor, recording the intro, the outro, like coming up obviously before all of that, like me coming up with like the questions, what we were going to actually talk about, like a rough plan, like also like making the cover image, making the show notes, writing the LinkedIn posts. Like, there isn't quite a lot that goes into it that, like, you might not think of, like, I don't even know, but <sighs> it's just nice that it's out there and I'm so excited to, like, hear, like, for people to start listening to it and to hear what they think. And it's also just so exciting because this is, like, my first ever sponsored podcast episode, which I know I've already mentioned, but, like, oh, like, that was one of my goals for this year was to, like, have like get podcast sponsorship and like I'm like okay it's just one episode and I'd love to like have sponsorship that w would be like several episodes Lloyd like, what are you doing <laughs> sorry I'm getting distracted but like <laughs> it's still like I just f it just feels like such an achievement and oh I'm just so excited about my podcast at the minute like because I've already recorded another episode which I already have told you about but like and then there's another one I'm recording next week I think it's either next week or the week after and I'm just like feeling really on it because there was like quite a while where I just wasn't like really into it as much not because I wasn't really into it just I just wasn't prioritizing it and I didn't I didn't record very many episodes last year and um, this year, like, I've only published one, apart from this morning, I'd only published one in January. So I skipped February, but I'm trying to do one every month. And so the March one, yeah, that was the March one. Um, I've already got, yeah, the one for April being edited. Um, my editor said that she'll edit it next week. So that can go out at the start of April. And then the one for May I'm recording next week. Um, and then I've already, there's already one in the works for June so like that is exciting and that's another one where the publisher reached out to me do you know what like it's so weird like that like I find it so bizarre. I know I get quite a few listeners like every time people are like oh I listen to your podcast or like oh like I'm always so surprised like when I meet people at events and they're like oh yeah I listen to your podcast and I'm like what <laughs> really <laughs> like it's so bizarre and when like publishers reached out reach out to me I think this is the fourth this is the fourth publisher to contact me and say they've been listening to my podcast and they want me they want to like work with me want me to interview someone want me to like se want to send me a book or something and I'm like as if like for example like I've done a couple of episodes now with Routledge and I'm like as if people from Routledge are just listening to my podcast like it feels so surreal like and like I've had like my old like university lecturers like email me being like oh I've like they've been listening to your podcast I've like shared it with like I've been sharing it with the students and I'm like how did they find out about it like how I don't know I mean obviously I'm like posting around it on LinkedIn and I am I do put myself out there but I still I'm always surprised when people are like, oh, I listen to your podcast. And like, I've had people that are like, oh, I feel like I really know you because I've been listening to your podcast. And I'm like, <laughs> there's people out there that feel like they know me and I don't even, and I don't, and, and I'm like, ah, ah. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's weird, but it's so cool. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Anyway, it's five to nine and I need to clear out the rabbit pen. So that is, what is this? <laughs> I feel like I'm going so fast. The camera can't even. <laughs> I'm going to clean up the rabbit pen before I start my work. I'm at 
at that point in the day where I look like a mess. <laughs> I look like I've been dragged through a hedge. Um, I've got all my work done. Um, I, it's only half past three and I've got my work done and I'm sat here and I've got my Notion open. So I don't know if you've heard of Notion, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Kelsey recommended it to me. Um, it's like an app, I guess, where you can just put all your things in and it just helps you like organize. It really helps me like organize all the things that are in my brain basically. Um, but I have like my to-do list on here and it's kind of like an ongoing one. And I've got like, I've got like a to-do column, an in-progress column and a done column. So it's like, it's like, right, I'm holding the phone above my laptop. Um, <laughs> and um, I, yeah, I'm like, okay, well I've done all the things I needed to do today other than obviously go to the gym, but I'm going to go to the gym at 7 p.m. So I've got ages, need to put the bins out, but I'm like, well, that doesn't need doing it half past three. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I have all these other things that are like some things that need doing, some things that are in progress. I'm like, do I start on another thing? It's half past three, so I could, like, I could do, like, I've got, like, another hour, realistically, where I could sit and do something, pra like, practical, practical, pr productive, that's the word. Um, so I'm like, okay, do I start, like, for example, I've um, had my website translated into Dutch, and I've got the text, and I need to put it onto Wix, basically, but it just takes ages to like because of the system it's such a faff and I'm like I could start doing that but that takes me more than an hour and I kind of don't want to start it and then get like sucked into it and then not be able to leave it so I'm like okay but then when am I going to do that and then there's also like um oh that's something I could do actually so I yeah I've got another music translator podcast recording it's either next week or the week after and I haven't done like a plan for that yet. So I could do that actually, I might do that now. Also these, um, I just realized I've not, uh, I don't think I've vlogged wearing these glasses before. Let me just put you down because this is, um, my arm is hurting already. So these are, these are just blue block glasses. Um, you can see that the reflection is blue anyway. That is because these are blue blocking glasses. So I don't know whether they actually, I feel like they help me, but I, don't know if it's just like a what's the word like a um you know what i mean when it's like you think it's having an effect and then it does have an effect um but basically just um means that i'm not the blue light doesn't go into my eyes so um it's supposed to like I think it's supposed to like help you when you get like to not get oh, sorry it's like <laughs> I lost my words I've been copywriting all afternoon I do not have any more words um it's like you probably already know you probably just look it up but I think it stops me from getting as many headaches and it helps me to concentrate a bit better I find that anyway I don't know I know they're quite like, they're quite big on my face, but I don't ever really wear them out anywhere. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I'm wearing, that's why I'm wearing glasses. Also, I just realised you have this beautiful artwork, which has probably been in quite a few of my um, videos. And I did not choose to put this here, by the way. <laughs> I know it looks a bit random because my wall is like, here's the wall. And then there's just this random piece of art here. Um, so basically, I, I did that thing. Have you seen that thing on TikTok where um, you... So I went to my friend Mai's house and she's an artist and we each had like a canvas and we like sat opposite each other and then like painted on the canvas and we like set a timer for like two minutes or something. I can't remember, two or three minutes. And then we like did some painting on the canvas and then we um, swapped... Sorry, got, got an email. We like swapped canvases and then painted some more and then like swapped again and then made some more. And then we like swapped a few times. So we were like both painting on each other's canvases. And this is what I, this is what I created. This is one of the creations. She's got the other one. And I brought it home and 
Mark really liked it so and he wanted to put it right here <laughs> and I was like okay that's what that is it has it's it's kind of cute it's kind of cute right um but yeah I just got an I just got an email which is nice because it is a new client that I've recently started working with and they've just asked me to do another project for them which is really good news so um yeah things are good things are actually really good at the minute um in terms of work which is saying something because I, it has been so up and down especially last year for me business was just so up and down I had some a lot of stressful times like either stressful because there was suddenly a lot of work at once or stressful because I literally had nothing for like I'm sure I literally went weeks where I had no work and obviously that was really stressful and financially it was a struggle I'm not gonna lie um but this year since I started working with that this client I'm doing copywriting for um they have sort of regular work for me almost every single day I've got work to do with them um but I've also had like there's I think kind of three other clients like I've got quite a lot of clients that have little random bits for me but there's like three at the minute this year that have kind of had bits for me a bit more often so like that kind of fits in in between the daily stuff I'm doing for this other client and just kind of adds on to that and it's kind of actually worked out quite nicely like they've kind of come at different times and I've always had something kind of new coming up so um I'm really grateful for that at the minute um, I'm trying not to like hold my breath too much because it, I feel like at literally any minute everything could suddenly flip like <laughs> literally I feel like you just don't know when like you, you just I don't know if it's I feel like it's a normal thing for freelancers like you just don't know how long it's gonna last um so I am like constantly trying to remind myself like to be posting on LinkedIn and like checking in with other clients and like making sure that there is always going to be something because I don't want to get complacent with it and just be like oh I've got work right now so everything's fine because like this work I might not have work like next week or well I will have work next week because I've just accepted this project but like <laughs> as in like next month or something like you just don't know I don't know I feel like even when things are good I'm constantly like okay but I need to watch out like I need to I don't know so that is yeah that's my situation at the minute um so I am grateful that things are going all right um right now and yeah I've also got to bear in mind the fact that I will be having time off at various points this year um and I want to just make sure that I'm doing enough work and like making enough so that if I'm just like only working three weeks of one month for example that I'm like it's enough still to cover me um it's all a big jung I was gonna say jungle that's not the word juggle juggle it's a big juggle <laughs> it's a big it's I mean it's yeah it's just constantly like figuring it all out I feel like I've been doing this for five years more than five years now and it's each year has been so different and I've been working with different clients on different kinds of projects and just everything everything has been so different from month to month even so it is I'm constantly discovering new things and figuring out new things and making new plans and it is fun it is exciting but it is also sometimes a little challenging <laughs> I'm not gonna lie sorry but look how perfect this cube of spinach is so we've come here's i'm here with emma my gym buddy i don't know if you can even see her it's so dark um we've come to a hill because not to do sprints. because we <laughs> because we read that we'd be able to see the aurora, aurora, aurora borealis tonight so come to a hill after gym Mark's also here and we're going to try and see the northern see. lights yeah just up here just walk up here is it muddy yeah. oh so i'll tell you if we see them it's a 
bit muddy. It's very muddy. Is it very muddy? Yeah. Well, we found a bench. Yeah, it has something in that tree. Can you see it? Can you see the Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Borealis? It does look a bit green. Yeah, it does compared to the other look, direction, it, I thought. Look, it does look a bit green. Maybe. No, I think that is the moon. Emma says it's a full moon tonight. Mm -hmm. There's the moon <laughs> behind that cloud. So we didn't find the northern lights, surprisingly. <laughs> but we had a nice little walk up a hill and we stood on the hill and we looked at the clouds. So and we almost saw the moon as well. So that was nice. <laughs> Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, I'm sure it's Tuesday. <laughs> Um, I'm feeling good today. <laughs> so last night we just randomly decided because Mark had sent me a link to like a thing that said that you'd be able to see the Northern Lights from Manchester like last night <clears throat> and we were like right let's go <laughs> let's go and try and see the Northern Lights but I was going to the gym so I was like okay we'll just go after I've been to the gym um, and I was like talking to my gym buddy about it and she was like I'll come so we all ended up going to like driving to a random hill and like going up the hill to see if we could see the northern lights it was really cloudy the the the, the article said that the clouds would have cleared so that we'd be able to see it but the clouds had not cleared um and so we couldn't <laughs> see it but yeah my plan for today nothing really that exciting to be honest um i've got uh three got three different projects on the go at the minute um <clears throat> so i'm just going to check when each of my deadlines are and see what order i do things in i'll probably just mix up i quite like doing when i've got a few different things on the go i quite like doing like a bit of one thing a bit of another thing but i was saying i only just realized this morning it's a four day week this week because it's easter on um it's easter it's easter sunday this weekend so um actually it's a four day week and then a four day weekend which is great um and we're going to be going down to Swanage um for the weekend to stay with my uncle who lives in Swanage that's why we're going to Swanage um which will be quite nice um it is a long drive down from Manchester it's like five hours or something probably going to be even longer than five hours because there is likely to be traffic going to Swanage on Easter weekend because everyone likes to go there on holiday, so. Oh, oh. oh she's taking it into the pen. So I just logged on to Buzzsprout, which is my like podcast hosting platform kind of thing. It's where like all <coughs> so I like upload the audio and then like all the information and then it like sends it out to like Spotify and everywhere. And the episode that went live yesterday morning, it's literally been there for a day. It's got 117 downloads. Like what? It's just so cool that like that many people have listened to this episode within a day 117 people have sat there and listened to it i feel like the later it gets in the day the more of a state i like <laughs> but i'm here i'm shiny my hair is a mess my, my blue blocking glasses blue light blocking glasses on um getting through my work it's going well um i just had a really nice voice note from my friend because i was telling her about like i was like i'm vlogging i started doing all these videos and it's like scary but it's fun and like I don't know what's gonna happen with it but 
gonna try it out and see how it goes and she's done like vlogs in the past and um she was like you should do it like she was like the only because I was like oh it's like embarrassing <laughs> but she was like oh the only like you're not going to be embarrassed by doing it because like right now I'm not embarrassed by doing this it's just the thought of other people thinking that it would be embarrassing if that makes sense but like she was like well no one's going to think that like she was like she said that she would watch it and she was like all your friends are gonna like like everyone that cares about you is just gonna be like yay this is cool like the only people that might be like what is she doing and people that you don't care about so i was like maybe maybe she's right i mean it's the same with anything i do that's like putting myself out there there's always going to be people that are like what is that like i've had it with my podcast um like the prime example where that that guy like wrote a linkedin post about my podcast and was like was like she sounds like a five-year-old she can't she like she obviously doesn't act isn't actually a translator because she spends all her time making podcast episodes which like i mean it's <laughs> so not true i made like five episodes last year it did not take up my entire year um but i'm like you know what if someone thinks I sound like a five-year-old, then that's fine because <laughs> it's like there are worse things, and I also don't care. I don't care about that person. Like, I don't care if you listen to my podcast and think I sound like a five-year-old. Like, it, literally, that does not affect me. And like, I think putting myself on YouTube is like opening opening myself up to like even more. I guess like judgment but at the same time I'm like well in general like people want people to do well like I want I genuinely want other people to do well and I want to support them and I feel like most people are like that so I'm like well there's bound to be people that watch this and are like what is she doing this is ridiculous how embarrassing but like so what <laughs> So what? Doesn't matter. Literally does not matter. Like if I enjoy doing this, why should I not do it? If something is fun, why not just do the fun thing? Like my friend just said in her voice note, follow the fun. And that is a good motto. Just look at the way she just sits there all day and watches me when I work. Isn't she so cute? Are you sleepy? She literally just sits there all day. Just staring at me. Look at them. Just look at them. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Good morning from me and this sleepy girl. Look at her. Are you so sleepy? Look at those legs. Good morning, happy Wednesday, and yes, I am wearing the same outfit for like the fourth day in a row, but as I explained, it's not smelly, it's not dirty, so I'm just going to keep wearing it. Lloyd, come and say hello. Look at him. You're so cute. You're so cute. And you're so cute. Um, it's just turned nine o'clock, so that is good. I've got work to do today. I've got some copywriting to do. Um, and then I've got gym later and it should be a nice, chilled, productive day, hopefully. So, yes. Oh, Cleo, <laughs> I've just, just cleaned their pen and she's just gone and pulled all of the hay out of the hay feeder and put it on the floor. So love that so i obviously posted on linkedin this morning and i kind of hinted well my post was about doing the thing um and i have not said the thing that i'm doing obviously the thing that i'm doing is vlogging um i've just <laughs> said i've been like in the do the thing mood and i've been like trying something but it's really scary and really like it's really exciting and really fun but also really scary and obviously it is scary the thought like I'm having so much fun recording the videos and I'm excited I'm really really excited to edit them and put them all together but also the thought of actually putting it out there like 
that's just terrifying it's terrifying but like everyone the comments on my post like people are like we want to know what the thing is we want to see the thing like people are so excited and I'm like okay well I can't I can't not share this now but then I'm like oh my gosh am I actually am I actually becoming a vlogger like what <laughs> I don't know I don't know it's it's nice that people are excited and I love how supportive everyone always is in the trans ace community and it just in I mean I'm just really lucky in my life in general I have so many like supportive friends and people around me and I know that like whatever I do I feel like people around me would support it and that's such a nice feeling and it does make it easier to do the things that are scary because I'm like I know people have got my back and I know that they're gonna be like I don't know <sighs> I don't know it's just it's, I, now I'm just like part of me is like I just want to share it now <laughs> obviously I need to edit it my plan is I'll edit it on Friday do you know what though it's made me realize that I do a lot more exciting things in my life than I thought that I did like not that I've not like this has just been like a normal a few days and I've actually had quite a lot of things to film which was one of my worries was that like what am I going to film because like I don't really do that much on a day-to-day -day basis but actually turns out I've got lots to talk about and I actually do quite a few things so yeah and I do have some really exciting things coming up in April so I think it will be fun to like vlog them so yes we'll see sorry my leg is always <laughs> like my, my knee is just always in the videos so sorry about that so I'm just having my lunch break now um, and I've in, a, in a, an exciting turn of events which is actually not, I mean it's not that exciting of a turn of, an event, of a turn of events but my client that I was doing the copywriting for is like actually can you subtitle this video by tomorrow morning and I was like sure <laughs> I'll just I, like I'll just stop the copywriting and do that which is fine because it's like the same client so if they need the like they need the subtitles sooner than they need the copywriting so they're like yeah just prioritize this which is fine um except it is 28 minutes 29 about 29 minutes um of a video and it's just taken me half an hour to do the first minute and a half <laughs> of the subtitles so that does not bode well but it's you know what it's fine because I always get quicker the more I get into it each every single time even though I subtitle all the time like and obviously I'm a lot quicker than I used to be in general it's like every new project I still need a few like I need to get into it and then it'll be quicker. I said I'd do it by tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna do it by tomorrow morning. And while my chili's in the microwave, I just wanted to show you my, this is my bowl that I've decided is my chili bowl. And so I always eat my rice and chili in this bowl and it's just perfect because I can put a layer of rice and then put the chili on top. And also how cute, how cute is this? I painted it with my friend Melissa. It is about half past seven in the evening on Wednesday still. I've just finished my work. Um, the subtitles took a lot longer than I expected them to take. It was like constant talking. I thought there would be some bits where there was less talking, but there was not. And you never really know what you're getting into when you're subtitling. Um, but yeah, there was lots of talking, so it took me a long time. Um, I think I worked for about nine hours today, which it's not what I don't normally work nine hours. I probably do about, I don't know, maybe six hours of client work in a day because obviously like there's a lot of other things like LinkedIn, emails, any other social media, any other like having my podcast. Like there's so many other random bits obviously that go into like running a business that like I normally would do like four to six hours of actual client work. But today I did nine. <laughs> um, but you know what, I don't really mind because this is like my regular client and I wanted to help them out and I they needed it for tomorrow morning and I was like, I'll just do it, I'll smash through the subtitles. They actually don't need it until 11am tomorrow. So like I could have finished a bit earlier but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get them all done and then in the morning I can get up and I can just like, go, like watch through it all, check through all the subtitles, make sure that everything's fine and then send it off and not be like stressing trying to finish them off first and then have to check through them straight away like I kind of like to leave it overnight if I can so 
that is what I'll do um so yeah glad that that is done and now as you might be able to tell from my outfit I am about to go to the gym it'll be nice to just go and lift some weights <laughs> and like move my body a little bit because I've literally just been sat on the sofa on my laptop all day um so today's vlog has probably not been very exciting um but this is just what freelance life is like and I know I could have said I could have told the client like no I can't do that and like that literally probably would have been fine like they could have I don't know given it to someone else or something but I was like well I might as well help them out like I really didn't really mind it today like if I had other like urgent things or like if I'd like scheduled in a podcast recording or something today like I wouldn't have taken that on but like I think that's the thing about like freelance freelance life and like running your own business it's like okay I want to you know do the things I enjoy and I am at the end of the day the one that makes the decisions on like what work I do and how many hours I work and when I work and all that kind of thing but at the same time like I am happy to occasionally be flexible and some people have boundaries where they're like no I'm absolutely not going to work past five o'clock or something and that's completely fine and like that's and some people are like no I won't work on weekends and I'm one of those people that like very 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 rarely will I work on weekends I usually in fact like I almost never work on weekends like that's one of my kind of boundaries I think it is important and this is something I really value is having fun with your business like enjoying your work if you decide to be freelance or run your own business I think like for me like one of the core values of my business is like obviously like doing a good job is a big one because like I mean I want to do a good job like I want my clients to you know trust me with the with their projects and to know that I can deliver good quality work and so like that's obviously a key a core value another one is like good communication like because I think that's so important like having good communication with your clients but also like with other freelancers or literally anyone that you're working with um but for me as well like one of the main ones is like having fun like I want to enjoy and I know it's not fun all the time and like I'm not expecting it to be fun all the time like that's not realistic and there are hard bits but like at the end of the day I'm like well if I'm gonna put in all this work to run my own business I want it at the end of the day enjoy it like <laughs> overall enjoy it and enjoy most of most parts of it because otherwise what's the point in what's the point in doing all of this like hello happy i was gonna say happy sunday it's not sunday at all it's thursday happy thursday um i'm feeling good today the sun is shining you might be able to well actually it's not really if i go like this now it's in my eyes <laughs> but like this is all right um the sun is shining so that is good i've just done my monthly roundup linkedin post which i love i love doing a good monthly roundup linkedin post and now i'm ready to get on with the day I did finish the subtitles yesterday but i do need to check them too this morning so that is the plan and then i will send them off to my client and then i've got some other work to be getting on with and then i need to pack <laughs> because we are going tomorrow um down to my down to swanage for my down to down to my uncle's house and swanage for easter um where did this guy come from why is there a beetle inside my house? Like, can somebody please explain who invited this guy in? I've just had a really cool email from an author who's writing their fourth novel, and the main character of the novel is a um, is a translator, and they've been like doing research into the translation industry, and they've been listening to my podcast, and have emailed me because they're like, oh yeah, I'm just like, you seem like really clued up in the translation industry. Like, can I ask you some questions? And obviously I'm like, yeah, that's so cool. Like, I'd love to like support an author and write in their novel. Like how, how cool is that? Like I get, sometimes I just like get random emails and I'm like, this is so cool that this person's like found me and like reached out to me. Like, I love it so much. <laughs> so I finished my work for today. I did, what did I even do? Finished off the subtitles, did some copywriting, 
did some work for my other client and I've actually just, um, because I had a bit of time, I have made my little intro to my vlogs, which you will have seen at the start of this video already, so you already know what it looks like, but I've just put it together and I'm really excited. Yeah, in 15 minutes I've got my call with that author, um, so that'll be nice to have a little chat and let you know how that goes. I just had the call, I just got off the call with the um, the author and she was so lovely and she like asked me really random questions about like languages and the translation industry and it was a really short call but like it was, it was interesting, it was fun um, and I don't know, it was just, it's just really cool to like talk to an author, like <laughs> talk about, talk about like her character, um, like how cool that she's having like a character in a book that's a translator, like I don't know. Um, I just think it's really cool so I'm glad that she reached out to me and I'm yeah I hope I get to see her book when it's done because that would be really cool. Gonna go and have my dinner! Hooray! It's jacket potato and I love jacket potato so much like I've probably already mentioned this but like I cannot think of like a more cozy wholesome meal than a jacket potato. They're just so, with beans, obviously with beans, jagged potato and beans, just, there's just nothing better.